The Foot Eco Build Women, trainers of trainers, co creating a model of mud build rocket stove for addressing climate adaptation and resilience in community living. This stove that we're building today, it's a step in a cooperation between friends and colleagues from Cameroon and from Tamera. Africa Kitchen Revolution comes to Europe. building and since we have already located the position of the wind and the site we'll go to mix the mud for the mortar so that while we are building we are using it we are going to proceed with mixing uh, the mud we are going to use for the mortar a safe and efficient cooking stove or space heater a wood burning stove that can easily be built from freely available local materials is interesting for people all over the world. Ground, sun, sawdust and water. We want to build this stove now so that we get to know it, so that we use it in our test field. We are mixing the mortar. This is the ground we are going to put in between the bricks we shall be using to uh, build the stove. Because if we don't put this, it won't uh, hold the bricks together. And this is what we are also going to use to plaster the stove. <laughs> yeah, it's already ready because it uh, is smooth and it's well blended. The soil and other materials is well blended so we can proceed on to the building. Through using it, we thereby adapt it to our needs and our technologies and therefore contribute to its ongoing development. We will need uh, half blocks. So, some of the blocks, we will cut them. Okay, the first step, we are looking at where the, 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 the flame will be entering to reach the pot. Because if we don't put it well, the flame may be at the side and it will be cooking by the side. So, we have to measure the pot. We put the bricks to mark the spots so that we build around the bricks. The, there's a line there. Mm -hmm. there's a line. Here. Yes. Women can take charge of changing their kitchens by learning how to build their own rocket cook stoves using an adapted design, simple materials, and a teaching workshop that enables a group of women build stoves together. We have successfully built over 200 stoves and successfully trained more than 18 women groups and over 200 women on how to build these stoves in villages in Bafut and other villages in the northwest region of Cameroon. It should end here. It should end here? Yeah. So from here to here? Mm -hmm. yeah. And how deep? 25 by 40. This is like the wood, so this is where the wood uh -huh. will be placed, mm -hmm. and this is the position of the pot. After that, we are going to do this so that when you burn the wood under, the flame comes up to the pot. See, it's not even touching the spot. We have expanded our concept into Africa in the southern and western parts. Today, we carry out a pilot model together with Tamara test fill, using local materials in Portugal to create a universal prototype that can be used anywhere in the world. Now we are done with the, the fire chamber. So now we are building around to, to put the insulation. 
so I'm wetting this floor because each time you want to do you need to put water in it so that it falls We are, we are bringing in. indigenous knowledge, you are bringing science. Yeah. Yeah. Pure ice is to go in here. No. It's a deliberate decision not to be not to be square, no? Yeah. But rather to follow yeah. along the line the line of the strength yeah. of the floor. Okay. I have to use this to yes. make sure that yes. we have yeah. a perfect finish. Yeah. So I will talk about the peculiarity of the stove we are building here in Tamera. There is a difference in that we want to bring in technology into combining with indigenous knowledge. This means we go to a website, we see how we usually build it traditionally, just mud. But now we are going in for efficiency. We're going to use stones. We're using sawdust to store the heat. This is the important thing also in a European climate. All the heat that is produced should not be lost. Yes, so watch out for the way the efficiency of this stove will work for using very little wood to cook. And the importance is to be able to concentrate all the heat under the pot. The main aim of these stones that we are putting here is to preserve the heat that we are going to use to cook uh, the food. So when you use stones, it stays longer, the heat stays longer. And you can either use wine bottles to also fill the space. Two more that would, would be then there. Does that work? Yeah. So, to take it out, it's a bit yeah. difficult huh? for the back. Yeah. To take it out, is it okay? That's better. That's isn't better. It? Yeah. yeah.
for cooking. In rural areas of Cameroon and in most parts of Africa, the population is using solid fuel, which is wood, charcoal. The cooking culture involves large heavy pots holding food for many people for a day. So far, the most to produce and supply enough heat to such a pot is through a three-stone fireplace. We hope to, in the next phase, improve the burning efficiency and incorporate other sources of energy like biogas and solar energy in a co-creative process using the concept from Bafoods and the technology from Tamera. Thank <laughs> you.